Hi and welcome to this tutorial of Interact and Data View. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can convert your measured values in Data View into behavioral events in Interact. So first of all I'm starting my Data View. Um, here it is. I'm opening a file from my common documents. If you have a Data View you also should have this uh, demo file in C users public documents that if you use the data and it's called analysis example TTL. So when I open it we see all the measurements in our file. I can show the chart. Here is my EDA or skin conductance value. That's the one I'm interested in. You see all the values in here and the only thing I'm doing here is I go into the plugin menu, say analysis routines, and choose this analysis example, or in this case it's uh, German, but however. This works also in your version. I'm going to save the file that this action will create on my desktop. This takes a second. Here it is. Now intact file was created and if I move away my data view here, we see here is the file on my desktop. Let me I minimize data view. Now when I start Interact and I simply drag and drop this file onto data view, we will see that in this file there are a couple of events that say EDA raised limit with a start and an end time. Now the major question is where does this information come from? If you go back to data view, now let me close all the charts, they are not of interest right now. If you go into data view we see that the EDA measures here have a certain value now, what I did is I wrote a so-called plugin or script that shows up here in this menu. And if I open the script editor, we can see the script. Now, this script says, uh, it's a bit lengthy, but however, you don't need to understand this. I just want to show you that you can do it. Or if you need our assistance, we can do this also for you. Now in this program, uh, we see there is a value called uh, um, 38,900 and the only thing this program or script or however you will call it does is it goes through all the data values here and whenever this value raises this limit, um, it is remembering this, this as a start time. Whenever this value is going below that limit, the end time is remembered. And what this script does, this script creates that interact document that we see here. Um, sorry, I moved it on the screen. That we see here. This is what this plugin or script creates from the values in data view. Now this means that you can write any kind of analysis routine in data view that is for example taking a look into the breath values or the heart uh, rate frequency or your acceleration or whatever values you have and you can create a script that says if this value has or if this measurement has this value and this measurement has that value I want uh, the script to create a certain action or to perform a certain action and um, this opens up thousands of possibilities for your data analysis. Now because I have turned those values start to stop into uh, events in Interact, I can do really interesting things. So when I open, let's say, um, 
couple of multimedia files. Let me just open this one here, for example, and uh, uh, that one. Now I have, let's assume this person um, had the physiology device on his wrist, for example, or arm or finger. Then the values belong to this participant. Now when I play the video, you will see um, also here the data going through. That's a low sampling rate. However, if I make a double click, one of those uh, events, all my data sources go to this point in time and they play, let me see the EDA only. Close all the, the other ones here. We see exactly the event being replayed from to so from the start to the end, where the EDA value was um, higher than the level that we defined in our script. Let me see another one. Just need to make a double click here, and then all my data sources go to this point in time, or. Okay, in this case not because the data file is too long for the video. It's three hours. Um, the video has not three hours. It's just a demo file here. Now, if I go into the analysis in Interact, I can also see those were the parts where all the EDA values did go above the limit that I defined. I can prove that the data here is exactly matching the data here by selecting the data in Interact again. I just mark all of them. I make a right mouse click and say copy marked events to data view. See what's happening. Now each sample that I have here did get the code from interact and from start zero this this is the zero here to 39 seconds this is exactly here so all those samples did get the code here and the next one is coming here so it's from sorry where is it if I go to the start time, I can see it starts here going down. Oops, going down to here. So this is from here to there. Now, this is really cool because in this way you can link the uh, qualitative data that you collected in Interact with the quantitative data of your physiological measures. You can write your own plugins or analysis routines that analyze the data in your physio file and this allows you to say for example hey i'm interested in uh, what's happening in the videos if a certain behavioral uh, a certain physiological condition appears and however you define it you can um, build it in a script like this if you need further assistance, then we're happy to assist. Just um, send an email to support at mangold-international.com or go to our homepage and uh, log in into our support area. And now this was it. I hope you liked the quick demo and hope to see you soon again in any of our other tutorials. Thank you and goodbye.